Hi, welcome to Yovi's Home. I post new videos every Tuesday and sometimes Thursday. Today, I want to talk about a very popular subject in the Netherlands, and that is Dutch bread. So if you want to hear me talk a little bit about bread and how it's different here than as I compare it to the United States, then why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. Dutch word of the day today. I'm, I'm electing to have two Dutch words of the day. The first word is the word for bread, which is brood. And then the second word is for a sandwich that is made with brood, but it's called a tosti. And that is like, a, I would say that that is a grilled cheese sandwich in American English or in Canadian English or whatever. But it's basically when you take a couple slices of bread, put some cheese or maybe some ham or something inside, and then you actually toast it. So that is called a tosti. So brood or tosti. So Dutch bread or bread <laughs> as it's called here, uh, in the Dutch culture, you're typically eating bread twice a day. You would eat bread for breakfast and you would eat bread for lunch. And then you have a warm, um, meal that is at dinner time. So bread is consumed a lot here. It is a carb heavy diet, but I didn't get the deal with the bread um, before I moved from the States or until I had lived here for a bit of a longer time. I didn't really get it. Like I was like, what, what's the deal with bread? I mean, it's bread. It is not just bread. Let's talk about what makes it different, what makes it special, and how it works in the Netherlands when you are getting your bread. From my experience or from, I think that Dutch people take a really big, like they're very um, proud of their bread and they take a lot of pride in having it fresh and delicious and not with preservatives and like a really good quality bread. Um, that means that they are buying it every day or every couple of days fresh from the bakery or from the supermarket where it is baked fresh as well. Basically, yeah, you just have, you walk into the supermarket or the bakery, you get like a nice little whiff of the fresh bread. It smells so good. And then, yeah, you are confronted with a wall of bread. This bread is made fresh every single day. And most of the time, if you go in at the end of the day, there is very little left, which means that it is not sitting out on shelves for weeks or days or maybe even months sometimes, like it does in the United States. Um, and the reason for this is because Dutch bread doesn't have many preservatives in it. Um, it is baked fresh, it is eaten fresh, and you are just, you don't have to put all the stuff in it to keep it from getting moldy. Now, after about, I would say four to six days, depending on where you're storing your bread, you are gonna get some mold on it, um, which is different than my experience with American bread that I've had like in a cupboard for weeks, you know, and it just stays like looking fine. Um, but here that's not the case. The bread goes moldy quickly because it doesn't have preservatives in it. Given that, um, one of the interesting things about, that I find about buying bread then is how it's sold in different sizes so that you can consume it before it goes bad. So you can buy it in, for example, they'll have like a little bag with five slices. So maybe you're living on your own, you don't eat that much bread, so five slices is enough for you. They also sell it in half a loaf, so you can completely go to a bakery or to the even to the supermarket and say like, I see this bread, I only want half of it, and they will give you half of it. Um, or you can buy the entire loaf. Um, so if you have a big family or something, you guys are big bread eaters, and eat lots of sandwiches and things, then yeah, maybe you go through a loaf of bread in one or two days. So I love that you have these um, options, you know, cause it's, everybody's needs are different and you are able to get good fresh bread that's not gonna go bad so you're not wasting your money. It's like customizable, you know what I mean? One thing that I found a little bit confusing um, when I moved to the Netherlands is the way that bread is sliced. Now, in the States, like in my experience in the States, you have more like baguette style bread or like loaf 
like circular round loaf types of bread. We will put them on the screen because now I cannot, I cannot enunciate them. But it's this, when I would hear bread, that is more of what I would think of. More like an Italian style bread, maybe a focaccia, um, like a baguette, like a French style. Um, and that is what I would think of as bread. What I saw in the Netherlands when I moved here is more what I would consider toast. And the only reason that I would consider it toast is due to the fact that it is sliced like this. So you go to the bakery, the bread is whole. It is like a whole piece of bread. And then they will put it on the slicer and slice it for you. And then it comes out in slices that look like this. And this is what I had um, interpreted or thought of as toast bread because it fits in a toaster <laughs> for no other reason other than it fits in a toaster. But this is not toast bread. This is bread bread. You can also buy it unsliced and slice it yourself into whatever shape or slice you want. But it was just a different thing. Like I, I, yeah, for, it took a while for my brain to switch off that this is not just toast bread. This is like bread, bread. So while, while the bread is sliced like this and you know, you can eat it just like this, like a slice, or you can have it like a sandwich, you know, two slices. Um, this bread is typically not toasted. So a Dutch person would not very often put this delicious fresh bread into a toaster and toast it. Unless they are making a tosti or a grilled cheese sandwich. So when you're making a tosti, you would take two slices of this bread, put some stuff in the middle and then put it on a sandwich maker or a tosti maker, um, but not in the toaster. I feel like sometimes I'm the only person in this country that actually has a toaster and uses it <laughs> because I like mine like warm and a little bit crispy. Um, let me know, do you have a toaster or a brood roaster in your house? Do you use it? Um, yeah, if you are making tostis or sandwiches on your sandwich maker, do you also need a regular toaster? I'm curious. Tell me, tell me about it. Educate me and help me also to understand even better. The last thing I wanted to say about Dutch bread is that there are so many different varieties and types. You walk into a supermarket or into a bakery and you just have a wall of different bread and you have like bread made with corn flour, like maize brood, you have white bread, you have milk bread, then you have things like white bread with extra fiber in it. That's what I buy for my kids because if my kids see a single seed on the bread, they're like, ugh, I don't eat that. They're little, okay, they're little. They will learn, they will learn the error of their ways. Um, but so yeah, so I like to buy them the white bread that has a little bit of extra fiber to like make it a little bit healthier. But then for myself and my husband, we love this. What is this? This is, um, polder corn brood from, uh, Rode and Rice Bakery, not sponsored, but that's my favorite current, currently my favorite bread, uh, in the Netherlands is this Rode and Rice polder corn bread. Um, but there are so many different kinds. You have everything, yeah, as I was saying, from the white bread, milk bread, extra fiber bread. Then you have this kind of like brown bread with like seeds and oats and nuts and things. Then you have like super, super dark bread. You have light brown bread. That's like a mix of bread, of brown and white or whole wheat and part shiny. So you have so, so many different flavors and kinds, which is, even more, I think, than in a country like France that also has a very celebrated bread culture, but it's like baguettes or maybe a couple of different types. But the Netherlands is really a large, large variety of different kinds of bread. So yeah, I hope that if you come to the Netherlands, you will sample it, taste it out, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you're Dutch, tell me what is your favorite bread and why, and maybe I'm gonna try it especially if you're in the Hague area and there's a bakery that you love, let me know what it is and I'm gonna go check it out because who doesn't wanna eat tasty bread all the time? Like, hello? <laughs> I mean, I do, I do. I wanna eat tasty bread all the time. So yeah, 
that is this video, you guys. I hope that you liked it. It was just a little love letter to some Dutch bread because <laughs> Yeah, I've been really enjoying having my little sandwiches lately. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thanks for coming over and spending some time with me today. I'm really appreciative of any time that you did spend here at my home. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I really look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.